Hi guys and welcome to another brand new episode of the Haunted Scouse where tonight we're back on his side, we're on the Whittle again and it's a massive thank you to Liam and the guys for allowing us in to investigate the 500 year old historic Liso Castle Hotel. Yeah, I've had my eye on this building for a number of years since we started Haunted Scouts. We're only stone's throw away from Liso Lighthouse as well, but this building in particular has a number of different haunted hotspots, none other than the notorious Room 22, where we've got access to tonight. So, what are we going to find at Liso Castle? Who knows? <laughs> Liso Castle and the surrounding area has a long history with plenty of drama and scandal mixed in. There are several ghostly legends attached to the castle one of whom, Ferdinand, is said to have committed suicide by jumping from the tower. Then there's the tragic tale of the father and son, who when imprisoned within the castle, the father smothered his son before taking his own life. The two families with the longest history at Liso Castle were the Stanleys and then, latterly, the Egertons. In 1802, Margaret Booth became the new owner of Liso Castle, turning the refurbished home into a charitable venture for shipwrecked sailors. With many not surviving, would we make contact with any of these former seafarers tonight? One room in particular, holding the most stories regarding a ghostly apparition. What would we find as Haunted Scouts spent the whole night at Liso Castle Hotel? Typical. Now it's recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, typically that just gone off for proximity and we had K2 flicks. And yeah, exactly. now, the only thing I was going to say about that is, is even move the towels off the bed. <laughs> well, definitely got that. <laughs> Hi. You didn't put any pressure on the bed then, did you? No, we didn't touch it. Mm. K2 as well. Thank you. Oh, I reckon this is going to be a decent room this year. The famous last words. <laughs> Finally saw that one go off. Yes. <laughs> I'd say it's a privilege for you, that isn't it? But I mean, I've never seen it go up uh, on two and sustained as well. well and that was, yeah. Okay.
Whilst getting ready to leave room 22 to the lock off camera, we failed to realise that the REM pod on the table actually alerted for proximity. So we've just come up to the uh, the turret suite, which is one of the one of the rooms that we're going to be investigating tonight. Uh, we've got sort of a little holding area here, and then just behind us, through the door, just there, um, is the main uh, function room with uh, all the tables sort of set up for a wedding, little bar area as well. Uh, it's got two firelights in there, so it is quite well uh, lit, and we can't obviously knock them off. So um, we'll probably start in this main bit, won't we? Yeah, we have left a couple of cat balls, one in the doorway, one a little bit further in. Just because the lights are on doesn't mean to say nothing paranormal is going to happen. The lights are on doesn't mean anyone's on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of talking in this room because it's got a big ass fireplace, so why not? Okay, so if there is anybody in here with us now, uh, there's a device that's on the table uh, that if you want to have a conversation with us, you can go in and choose a word. Uh, it's like a dictionary and we can try and have a conversation. Court. Port. 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 Very relevant. Yeah, so we're right on the right on the front, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Court. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a bat here. Wow, well, okay. There's a bat here. Interesting. Okay, so you know how to use the device then. Uh, maybe you can tell us what what is bad here or who is bad here. Maybe you can try and give us a name. Or maybe you can tell us what happened here. That was bad. Well, we don't want to use that device. There's a number of devices that are on the floor. There's one just on the fireplace as well, with green lights. If you go towards it and maybe put your hand on it or go near it or walk past it, it will flash up to orange or red. Slight look at that. This is amazing. We are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Easily pleased, yeah. Well, I, I mean, obviously, doing the research, I know this venue does do some small sort of paranormal uh, events for um, K2, uh, um, but no one. Has this done anything sort of what we're doing kind of tonight? Where I think you're for Paulson now, isn't it? Um, yeah, no one's done anything or has done anything that we're going to do tonight in terms of filming with uh, with multiple cameras and uh, multiple black ops. So, um, interesting to see sort of what we capture tonight. Yeah, that's waste, the thing. Waste the while to get in here, so yeah. No one else has done a. No one else has done an episode. That's the thing. No. Events, yeah, and done their own thing. But episode-wise, this is the first of its kind for here. Yeah, it's had obviously some small psychic nights. So in terms of walking around, communicating, possibly, you know, people who have been before, or there is anybody here who might know how to communicate. So use certain bits of equipment, but. Um, I'm very lonely here. Well, okay, obviously that's, uh, yeah, I mean, the, one of the stories is uh, in Lizo Castle there was uh, a, a man, uh, a father and a child that were locked away uh, in one of the rooms and basically were, were there to starve to death um, and then to sort of, you know, save himself from that sort of misery and uh, that agony of a sort of starting to death the father killed the child and then killed himself and supposedly their, their spirits have been seen multiple times sort of wandering wandering the corridors and wandering around so it could be obviously that sort of loneliness being locked away cannon yeah i mean that's interesting cannon cannon it's just turret 
Yeah, the turret room. <laughs> and, you know, it is called, you know, Lee Soul Castle. Mm -hmm. Be interesting, I mean, obviously it's a bit windy tonight and stormy, but it'd be interesting, you know, it, maybe is there a mock-up one outside or anything like that, or on the grounds? Or would, could there potentially have been one on this site a long time ago? Because it's not always about what we can see with our eyes now, is it? Well, I mean, going back, it's it, this has been it's like five hundred years old. This, this place, so you know, looking at it now, you know, people intelligent. Are, Thank you. <laughs> uh, you got sort of a beautiful kind of when sort of ceremony room uh, set up back there. It's, it's a, a brilliant hotel now, but you know, it's been used for for multiple things. It was used, I think, for to house um, prisoners in World War One. Um, so. I mean, now obviously when we investigated the Lizzo Lighthouse, it was uh, gaining more energy. Okay, uh, it's been used for um, things like bot bodies and storage yeah. and, uh, and things like that. So it's um, yeah, it's so it's all around here, and there's supposedly multiple secret passageways in the building uh, where they are. It's a secret, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's on the route for the smugglers, isn't it? That yeah. was the thing. That was the big thing. I mean, by Lisa Lighthouse, it was the bodies that were unfortunately washed up from the wrecks that were that were buried where they where they laid, and were just a little bit further up from the coast. My remains. Okay, and you you were talking about the father and the son. Yeah. This isn't a continuity error guys, we've left this little section in just to show why the large balloon on the left changes position from the previous shot you've seen in this room. safe or should we not feel safe? Try and touch one of the objects on the table over there. Obviously, we've got one table in the Gilbert. room. Gilbert. Gilbert. I mean, that that could be. Depends how far you go back. It could be first or second name. If you can see us, or you can see this room how it is now, maybe you can tell us what objects are on the table over there. Maybe name one of the objects. Try and touch one of them, move one of them. Because if this is an intelligent spirit, then maybe you see the building how it is now. Tell us what's on that table over there.
chair. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it's not on the table, it's on the board. Table. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's say what you want about that, but that's really good, you know. Yeah, isn't it? That is. I mean, literally, there was. Funny. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. But then, even that funny is that acknowledgement that we've just chuckled to ourselves mm -hmm. because that was a highly relevant word, and there's only potentially about yeah five or six maybe. five or six words yeah. that you would use for what's over there. Yeah. Or in the room anyway. But. So obviously you can see multiple chairs in the room. Because the rest of the tables, to be honest, they're not made up. It's like mm -hmm. that one's being made up as an example of mm -hmm. what you, it would look like should you hire. Children's spirits. Okay. Well, there's definitely one. Maybe it's multiple here. <laughs> it's funny that though, when it's that, that chair it's still got me tickled. Yeah. When you really like it, you want glass, fork, spoon, something like that. The one thing will... That I yeah. wouldn't even have actually fork, because we're focusing yeah. on the table, but... I asked for a specific object, or something, and it's very, very relevant, so... Well, that takes us some of the turn around to us and said, name something, name, name something over there, of where we're going to go. A uh, knife, fork, spoon, you know, wine glass, champagne glass. But it's it's almost like a child's response chair. I've been here six hundred years. I mean, okay, it's fifteen ninety three, so that's when the building was built. So hundred years out, but you never sort of know what was. But at the same time, though, we've never had that before either. I've been here 600 years. I mean, that's what part of our uh, our researcher is uh, can can be looking into before I've even edited this. So if we found anything out, guys, it'll be coming up on screen now. We are going to be exploring this building tonight. Be uh, fearful. Be careful. Be fearful. Yeah, I thought it said be careful. Well, yeah, be fearful. Like bang. Okay, so what is it that we need to be fearful of? Is it someone or something? Afraid. Okay, what should we be afraid of? Two quite sort of similar things, I don't know. Yeah. Afraid. What is it that we should be afraid of? Maybe give us the name of the person or what it is. Interesting to look back, you know. No, from I think it was from the seventies to to about eighty three, maybe. It was about thirteen, fifteen years where it went um, disused. It was it was abandoned, and then the, the owners in, in eighty three bought it and obviously sort of renovated it to what it is now. Um, the way the periods and. Yeah. He likes you. Along with the camera, you mean? <laughs> Hopefully, it is. <laughs> Not me. Who's he? Is this Colton, is it? Or Gilbert? Or. I thought that was a glass clink then, no, it was just juice lately. Yeah, I mean, I'll leave that running for the last sort of two minutes, but uh, yeah, quite a, uh, you know, you sort of walk into rooms like this and because of how it is now and it's all quite nice and, you know, it's supposed to be happy and, and celebratory because yeah. of what it's for, but 
Uh, really, really intelligent responses. Whistle. Whistle. We'll do it in a minute. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, really intelligent responses through that, isn't it? Yeah, interesting. That's, that's the thing with the patience of it, and that's why it's moving up here. Just because it's bright daylight, bright daylight, bright lights to us, on the night vision, it doesn't really make that much no. difference in the grand scheme of things for you guys, but it just makes us more comfortable. But it's I want very lonely it. here. It's very lonely here again. But yeah, I think it's a great, great start on the uh, on the spirit talker for the first session tonight, and it's a. Uh, I think this is going to be a location where I think using the spirit talker a few times, yeah. and see if we can kind of get some narrative from room and area to area, but. Um, it's happening into the history though, isn't it? Yeah, what, exactly. It's coming out, so yeah. interesting when we move through to sort of see, does it continue? Yeah, because the next part we're going into has got, it's, it's stripped back to the bare wall. It's fantastic, so yeah, come on. Probably trying to get as near to like the stone, maybe, and here. That's what I mean. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking if I start mm -hmm. here, because we've got the spotlight, the floodlights. They are. Is that, maybe you just set that off behind you. Oh. I didn't knock it, but then anyone looking at the camera is going to say, I must have knocked it. So, thing is, I was here. Oh, okay. You definitely did not that time, did you? Definitely a good place to start then, because I was here and you wouldn't be able to sort of see it. I just saw it out my eye, not through the camera. Okay, clearly someone wants to communicate. There's a device that's going to come on now. You want to speak to us? Perfect timing. Okay, don't be afraid of the device, it's about to make some noise, but it's going to give you a chance to speak to us.
funny that we both looked at that then at the same time yeah. and just sort of see because it hasn't gone off yeah. uh, for a while. Yeah. Same with you and mm. then it's gone off. Mm. Maybe you're only the time to stay. sessions but obviously we do say we, sometimes you do capture a little bit of radio interference but on that there seems to be a lot of different voices all kind of clambering over each other to have a little say in it yeah definitely like a really gruff low tone male voice that came yeah, through similar really, few times yeah, really low voice how do you feel in this room Mm. Feels like this was. I think sometimes when you go higher up in these old buildings, as you go lower, you kind of start to feel more. What the more? What the feel more? What the? What was that? <laughs> Where was that? I mean, that ball's going up now as well. For me, it sounded like over here, but obviously there's n it's outside that, isn't it? Yeah. So there's nothing that could be banging, banging walls. There's li I mean, you almost have to take me where. It is literally not an out there. It's not like a. You see, obviously a car. There's a few beer kegs. I thought maybe one of the members of staff might have come out, but. Bloody loud, that. <laughs> and then that think, catball going yeah. off as well to coincide, is it? See, the thing, what, the thing, what I was going to say was, I feel the polar opposite. I feel. Mm, Do you? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's sort of do like sort of the exposed brickwork or yeah. maybe just because it's a little bit colder, the temperatures a bit. But I don't know. I I just don't. No, not a fan. Oh, mm. that's unusual for it. It is, and it's not like, you know, I'm like massively oh, I'm petrified of the room. I just don't, compared to where we were before. Well, again, it's like it's acknowledging you. Mm. Yeah, compared to where we were before, I don't know. I'm not a, yeah, not a fan. I don't know. And then obviously that now was just yeah, made it ten times worse. Because yeah. it's solid brick behind it's, there. Yeah. So... It's like, we'll, we'll look uh, in the solid brick. Yeah, it's... You know, even, this is solid wood there. Oh. That can't be over that loud. <laughs> no. It's the thing, is it, if it was something down below and on the ground outside, it, it sounded literally behind that wall. Yeah. And it's on our level. Right there. Yeah. yeah. But obviously there's nothing out there, is there? Because it, it just leads to outside, so. And because cause we're gonna go down those stairs to, to leave this section, we're not gonna go back that way, mm. guys. So you are actually gonna see what's downstairs, and it's literally a very small area. Mm. But no, that was, uh, that was good. Yeah, I think uh, shorts, Short, sharp bursts seem to be, you know, in one room, 
investigate, yeah. yeah, and then we're on to the next. But things are happening now, aren't they? So exactly. It's we're, we're yet to know, as always, we're the last to know if anything's happening on these lock off cameras, guys. All we know is that we've had stuff happen on them before we'd even left those rooms. So fingers crossed it's continued. And they are clearly those rooms are going to be the crux mm. of the episode tonight. But we're getting little bonuses here as we're walking around. It's, it's building the narrative nicely. sad but <laughs> you see proper old fashioned door there with dead bolts on it. I don't know. Yeah, you can sort of see anyway now where we are. This is probably one of the oldest the oldest parts uh, to Liso Castle. Um, yeah, but this is the thing now, guys. You can see what I was saying about that noise upstairs. Mm. This is the only, this is it, the little space. There's nothing, mm. there's, it, there's nowhere anybody could have ran through because literally there's a, there's a room there and you'll see it as we walk through. But, you know, I mean, I can see outside there. But again, there's nothing there. You've got the old windows, the, you mm. know, they'll be very old windows as well. We have the original, the original stonework. Don't build them like this anymore. <laughs> Can't afford to. <laughs> so that must be the side where we just feel. Mm. Yeah. So that would be the door. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. So that's the door. Quite. Um, yeah. So that's that door. Like the sort of tutor bit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, essentially. Three, two, one. Oh, breath. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, so we've come all the way up to the one room that we've been given access to tonight. Uh, and why we've been given access to it is because it's supposedly the most haunted room in Lizo Castle, and that's room 22. Yeah, I mean, listen, guys, you've already seen a little bit when we were setting up, and the uh, the REM pod went off on the bed. So, you know, let's hope that wasn't the peak. <laughs> but yeah, I think if we get in here now, and it's uh... yeah, there is. Uh, I mean, just before we go in, it's been reported in quite a lot of the rooms that there is a, a lady in white. As usually there is in in places like this, um, that does sort of stand or sit before the bed. Uh, and one of the celebrity judges who actually stayed here not so long ago on, uh, I think it was on Strictly, um, forgive her name, probably we'll put it below here now and I'll put a little link to the article as well. But she, she was here and she woke up and actually saw the same thing. Um, so be interested, that's why we've put the kit where we have and fingers crossed the lock off sort of done it justice. But yeah, the bed's the obvious focal point in here and that's the thing, but now we're going to go in with two cameras we can kind of utilise the, uh, the fireplace as well, so let's go. Hi. Hello. Hi to anybody that is in this room with us now. We don't mean any harm, we don't mean any disrespect. When we were up here before, just putting some of our equipment out, you seem to go towards it and maybe touch it and play with it, which is that's why it's here. So if you want to do that whilst we're in the room, please do. Is there a lady in this room with us now? If there is, can you maybe go towards one of the devices? Or maybe make a noise? K2 flicker in there? Yeah. Yeah. Is 
Is this your bedroom? We don't mean any disrespect by being in here. Tell you something though, it's bloody dark in here, isn't it? It is. <laughs> a good night's kip in here. Unless something sort of was stood at the foot of the bed. Unless something was stood at the foot of the bed, yeah. Yeah. Um, should we put the spirit talk on? I think so, yeah. Let's uh, maybe try and engage and have a, have a conversation. Okay, so I'm going to put place a box on the bed. There's more of us. <laughs> So you, straight away you know how to use it. You can use that device to tell us more about yourself. Maybe tell us how many more of you there are. Did that just come up with the word and not, uh, not say anything? I didn't say it. No. And obviously that has been known to happen mm. as well, hasn't it? Taylor. 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 Another surname. Mm -hmm. Have you done something? Have you seen something that you shouldn't? Perhaps there's a spirit of a lady here who's been seen several times throughout the building. You like to make yourself known to people. Maybe you just like to watch them. Maybe you're watching over them. Is that what it was, the K2? Mm. Like, yeah, cause maybe it's because I've got the screen next to me. It looked like it was like halfway down the bed. But obviously, yeah, it would have been the K2 because it was a green light. It's just... Mm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name's Adam, this is Chris. Hi. Maybe you can tell us your name. Maybe your family name. Starting down that route again. <laughs> what is it that we should be cautious of? Is there somebody that we shouldn't interact with? So hard. That one I'm looking at. I way. had plans. I had plans. Scheming. And it's weird when you look that way and you like what's flashing and then there's just a K2 slightly pulsing up because it's so dark, it's yeah. still doing it. Mm -hmm. So what were your plans? Maybe you had plans for the building before it turned into Mockbagger Hall. 
were you here when it was known as that? Maybe were you here before it when it was much grander? The building wasn't in disrepair? Just add something to the shot. Oh. oh, hello, like that. Okay. I think I just captured that. Hi. Standing there for like 20 minutes, yeah. Eventually, it's uh, yeah, because you put that there, it's picked up on. But that's the thing, I mean, we put that down all the time, and it doesn't do that, even if it did, it was quite like it does do, yeah. A good few times, it wasn't just a love one pulse, was it? You. Whistling. Big knock. No. Thought it was you. No. One pulse was it? Assuming that was you. Whistling. No. The big knock. No. Bang. Yeah. I thought you would just move back on the chair. That's me. Christ, it wouldn't make that noise, would it? No. Proper. That was a proper. Didn't you hear the whistling? No. I just heard the, the big foot. No, yeah, there was so whistling. That creaky chair is too light. It must have been this. Or the bed. It was definitely something, but Christ, that was loud, that. Two cameras would have picked that up. No, I could hear whistling like someone. Went... <laughs> Thank you, that was you. That that thud was outside. We are talking and we are listening. Enough. enough of a gap for you to reply or to do something. See, that's a roof down there underneath us, so... Mm. But we are going to stay in here a while with you, so... We'd love you to try to make yourself known, maybe touch one of us. Stand next to one of us. If we could hear your voice, that would be amazing. Don't be afraid. 
think we're afraid. We're just curious. Uh, you've spoken to many people before. You've appeared in front of many people before. And that's why we're here. We're here to see that. So if you can, can you maybe try and do something now for us, please? Just to let us know that you are in the room. Sam was just sort of processing that moment that there was a knock from outside. There was a knock from outside. I don't know. The camera died. What? The camera's died. Why didn't they go to the loo? I don't know. There's no the screens, yeah. The camera's died. Well, that's strange. I mean, there are. I did put batteries in the air, in the thing. Mm -hmm. I was it was strange, because I heard uh, there was a knock that was outside, it was probably just, you know, yeah. something miscellaneous anyway. But the um, camera usually goes diddling. Yeah, and we noticed, it's, oh, you're looking through that LED screen, aren't you, so you wouldn't have. Sort of known, but it just got a lot lighter over, over here. I had a bad past. <laughs> Religious. Oh, well, it's fine now. Hello. Could this have been the spirit of Ferdinando? He was involved in the Hesketh plot, which was in fact an attempt to overthrow the Catholics from the throne. Yeah, well, and I did say jilted, and it's like. I love this. Yeah. Well, was that you trying to maybe build some energy in the room? Maybe that was you drained one of our cameras. Which again, it's just like we've already been downstairs and back in that room where we first set the first camera up. That's Adam. Adam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, exactly. I say this is quite a cosy room. Do you recognise me? If you do, can you maybe do something more than uh, go to that device on the on the bed? Maybe you come over to this device that's by the table here. Or maybe the device with the red lights on. Definitive, oh, I have to say it's sort of a very definitive first name, but I suppose it still could be a could same. be another surname, couldn't it? Yeah. K2's having a great time there, though, on the uh, on the bed. Enid. Enid. So they're the, they're the first names we've had in this room, now. Mm. This is where we've got that potential of crossover of spirits. 
you know, we've got the the real. I died in a sword fight. Christ, <laughs> died in a sword fight. <laughs> that's that's mental. <laughs> it's definitely a new Pilot. one. Pilot. Pilot. Although the duel itself took place away from Leesol Castle, John Egerton actually was a resident of the castle who did die in a sword fight back in 1610. Was this his restless spirit letting us know what happened to him? And like you said, it's a sort of a, it's an open sort of channel. Hello, friend. Hello. I think it's an open sort of channel communication. It could just be sort of anyone or anything, just sort of seize the moment. And yeah, because in, you know, how long did you say the building's been here? It's 1593, so you're looking at, you know, 460 odd years. There's a lot of people have been in this bedroom. Mm. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's one of the older parts of the building still, so. Yeah, again, right on, you know, towards the edge of it. Mm. Be happy wherever you are. What's that? Yeah, that sounded like something sort of moved on the bed. What's that? Yeah, that no. That sounded like something moved on the bed. Happened here. What happened here? Did something happen to you? Do you realise you've passed into the world of spirit? I'm really here. I'll have to try and prove that you are here then. There's also another way of taking that, is that I've asked, do you realise you're dead? Do you realise you're passing to the world of spirit? Mm. And it was like a pause and then, no, mm. I'm really here. Yeah. But yeah, I think, um, I think what we'll do, guys, we'll, before we leave this room, I think we'll slightly change the angle of the camera because it seems to be like where we've got this lock off, the, the handheld one that we're using looking this way. I think if we move the lock off to where that is, it still captures the bed, but to look over in this area, this seems to be like mm. an en energised area. And then we'll just leave it to just bubble over for another three quarters of an hour, an hour, whilst we go down to, uh, to the final section. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting little narrative so far, mate. Mm. Yeah. I'm be interested to see sort of what we finish off with, but um, in terms of activity, there's, there's little little sort of breadcrumbs and little nuggets, isn't there? Yeah. In each part, and it's uh, yeah, it just makes me think that if we were here for for much longer, for much longer, for much longer. Ironically, there's a tap that mm -hmm. is behind. Both the cameras. I mean, I don't know if you would have clearly heard that. Yeah. As usual, I'm, I'm waffling over it, but yeah, I think maybe if we, yeah, we get out of here and hopefully let whatever build, and fingers crossed, the lock off just does justice and really captures something good. But, yeah, we have hope.
You do, yeah, sure. Thank you if you have been interacting. Yeah. As we prepared to leave room 22, one last thing was about to happen that we could not easily explain. Um, we turn the 360 button as well. Yeah, can do. Oh, me. sort of see <laughs> now that was on there and um, we turn the 360 back on as well yeah can do oh oh me right okay now <laughs> right so let's sort of see <laughs> now that was on there yeah in true Haunted Scouts fashion, we did not quite catch this on camera, but you can see from this first shot that Adam moves towards that side table before moving back towards the bathroom door, which is when the cat ball rolls off. You can also see here the distance Adam is from that side table. So, so we are confident in discounting that it was not Adam's no, footsteps that, that made that cat ball yeah, move. It's been on there all night. Yeah. And you have walked over here, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. I want to turn it on. It didn't do that, did it? Because I would have, I'd went, walked up and turned the 360 yeah. off. Do you know what? I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying that I just lifted this up in time because that's just out of shot. But it, I, I know. <laughs> Picked it up. Oh, man. <laughs> it's been one of them nights, mate. I mean, that is so frustrating. If I. Oh. Well, yeah, there's a cat ball just on there, so <laughs> typically um, I've just bent down to pick up, uh, sorry, to turn on the 360, and I've just heard the roll and the cat ball's at the floor. Um, I may, I may, because I only had it like that, I may have just lifted it in time, because I heard the roll, but I know... Um, I know we captured we captured the fall of yeah. it on there because I've seen it in the bottom corner, the bottom of the camera. So we've captured it falling. And I'm hoping I've just lifted this enough to at least capture that you're not by it. And yet again, like I'm trying to debunk that because of uh, I'd lent back down again thinking it might be my, my weight or blah blah blah. But it came in the room and I turned it off, and it didn't. It didn't roll. Yeah, exactly. So and it walked past it. So there's no way I'm going to say that that that's not me. And I'm going to be quite adamant there. That usually I'm quite sceptical. Yeah. So you know what? Well, it probably might be, but I'm going to say that's not. And I think we sort of do do ourselves a bit of um, injustice. Injustice yeah. by always going, well, yeah, it's probably probably was me, and it's the first thing in my head that was like, you know what? But then no, because it would have done it. Yeah. And I bent down two or three times there to obviously turn that back on. And it's not. And I mean, if anything, I think I've moved it a bit more closer to the edge. Because I'm sure I had it further back and it hasn't rolled, so... That's a belter. Yeah. That really is a belter. Yeah. So I've got to say, if you are ever going to come and stay in this absolutely beautiful building, pick room 22, you definitely won't be disappointed. You might not get much kip, but uh, well worth it. Yeah, you're right out the way as well. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh.
Ich habe nie in der Kamera so ein Hast du denn noch ein Jahr in der Kamera da da gekriegt? Ich darf nicht So we're in one of the biggest rooms that we have available to us tonight in Liso Castle and we are actually in the castle suite, believe it or not mate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is uh, the, one of the longest rooms and we've had stuff littered in this room all night. Um, so again, quite interesting to sort of see what you've already seen. We've got no idea sort of what we're walking into now. Maybe nothing, maybe something we don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll just do a bit of calling out. So we'll put a bit of equipment on. And, I hope we'll sort of see see what we get, but it's been interesting so far where we've been, so... Yeah, that's exactly. I think, it, I mean, this room lends itself to an S-Box. Yeah. Plus, we're away from everybody as well, so we can do an S-Box and not disturb any guests, because, mm. let's face it, we don't want it to annoy the guests when this is, a, uh, this is not a cheap establishment to stay yeah. in. Um, so yeah, so we don't want to upset anybody, so we, are, we have been wary of what equipment we've used and where. Mm. Um, I'm a pretty confident that uh, we can use the S box in here and not disturb anyone. But, uh, but yeah, famous so, last words. <laughs> yeah, famous last words. We'll get to the end of the S box session and we're getting kicked out. So, be a good end to the episode, though. Yeah. yeah just banging on the door like Fred Flintstone trying <laughs> to get me equipment back. It's okay, guys. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go with an S box. Um, as Adam said, this is the castle suite. Um, a nice long room, so I'm going to stand at this end because it'll project anyway. But more so, <laughs> that doorway's been giving us vibes all night, and it's uh, there's just something about it. It's just you know, even when you look down near the, the actual corridor. But if there are any spirits in here with us now, then please come forward and let us know your name. Use this bit of equipment I've got in my hand to be able to speak to us. twice, even before you said captain, I thought it said capital first. But
when you said captain, I thought it was the male spirit referring then, to Captain Thomas captain Lambert, Robert, whose vessel, yeah. the Mary and Betty, so was a, wrecked off the coast of Liso Castle on the 24th of October, 1820. <laughs> When you said Captain, I thought it said Cap Ball, and then when you said Captain Roberts, and then it said Cap Ball again. So I don't know whether it said, I don't, it definitely said Cap Ball somewhere, didn't it? Probably didn't say Captain Roberts or Cap Ball, like on this. <laughs> but no, thank you. Maybe try and touch one of the Cap Balls. Could this have been in reference to the pilot of the ship, who may have been the person actually blamed for the wrecking of the Mary and Betsy? It's the thing, I can't obviously swing this camera around because no, I'm going to be hit by two yeah, like IR lights. We've got, we've got no. a dual shot of the lock off looking mm. down, which is the whole point of it of choosing this angle, guys. But that was pretty loud. Mm. side the room yeah. as well. Whereas most of what we've heard has been on the opposite side. Keep walking down and you can tell us your name. Were these spirits referring to Mrs. Margaret Hood, who bought the castle in 1802 and turned it into a home for shipwrecked seafarers? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Is your life taken from you by somebody? Did you end up here from the ship? Could have been France, so I'm gonna fill that up there. Yeah, there's something there, wasn't mm. it? Again, there's quite a few voices. Mm. Yeah. yeah, potentially France. Mm. But, um, oh, bloody cold. <laughs> I mean, it seems quieter here. Yeah. I mean, if we go back down into the main room again, because there's definitely some noises and stuff yeah. there before, wasn't there? Okay, so I know it might be sort of death by spirit talker tonight, but I think every time we've sort of used it in the room, realm and stuff has actually come through so I think maybe trying it in here in the final room in this cross that we sort of still get that uh, that that sense of relevance through. Um, yeah so we'll just do a bit of calling out for sort of the last 10-15 minutes. Um, yeah. I know you're doing exactly what I do when you arrive and just shift my head towards the door aren't you all the time. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> like, I'm seeing you doing it making me a bit uneasy now. So um, but yeah so we'll just do some calling out and we'll see. See what we get. Do you work here? Maybe you visit here? Do you own the building? Maybe you just came to visit? Maybe you walked past here? Maybe you were brought here? Imprisoned here? <laughs> Plenty of options. Just spread that out then over like five minutes. But come on, that's it. Can you make try and do that again, please? Oh, it's definitely on the Skulls. outside. Skulls. 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 Shipwrecks. Well, exactly. That's the thing. You'll be be behind you there, and beyond this. You know. I'll hopefully I'll capture the photograph of it earlier on. If I did, guys, I'll drop it in. But this old lighthouse where we've also filmed is just along the way. Yeah. And this was this was an area rife for um, you know, smugglers. They have it here. And, yeah, thank you. Yeah, smugglers and pirates and yeah. Here. Do you know what? I, strange, and again, sometimes we do say this. I was just about to say, for all we know, the, this part of the building being Jasmine. 
a later add-on is potentially on the top of burials because that was the thing with Lisa the lighthouse wasn't it across the way on the field from the lighthouse was unmarked graves yeah I think they seem to allude to there being some sort of morgue or mortuary sort of down yeah. there where bodies are sort of brought in from, from the shipwrecks to the main exactly if that sense and heat, where the hell does that come from? Because that's what I mean. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Is like, could energy be heat as well as cold? Like, obviously, you get cold spots when you go to places. Avoid this area. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> Sort of shipwrecks in the lighthouse, exactly. Avoid this area. But I mean, if this was part of the one that is in um, that, um, is it Mother Red Cat? Mm -hmm. Will a lot of the stuff be like pirated from the shipwrecks? Okay, so um, yeah, quite a, and again, another interesting room, some interesting responses uh, on the uh, on the S box and on the Spirit Talker. Yeah. Um, again, the equipment does seem to be playing as well, um, but yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll maybe go back upstairs uh, for now, I think sort of we've done what we sort of can in this yeah. room and time is ticking, um, so we'll maybe just do one last piece uh, back up in room 22 and then yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be it, so, um, but yeah, again, you just don't know what the lock offs of course, yeah. so you, we might be screaming at us now, going, why are you walking out of here, this has happened, this has happened, and this has happened, but, yeah. And while you're watching, guys, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for us if you haven't already, if this is your first time watching an episode because you wanted to see the Liso Castle episode, mm. please, it costs you nothing just to... You know, be nice, be kind, and uh, yeah, it just it helps us out massively. And when you finish watching, please stick around and leave a comment as well underneath the video, because again, we do reply to every comment, and we do love reading your comments. Anything we've missed, please please put a timestamp in there for us as well, and we will go back and check it. Mm. So guys, that's the end of the episode tonight at Liso Castle. Uh, what are your thoughts, mate? It's been really interesting, guys, and we've we tried to take you on the full journey of the access that we've had. Um, which yeah, I mean a massive thanks to the guys here at the, the castle for, for inviting us in and giving us that access. Um, but yeah, we've whilst it's been limited access, it's been interesting the different areas and we have had that like a similar vibe running through it. Oh, most definitely. Uh, it's, as Chris said, massive thanks to Liam and the team that are here to sort of accommodate what we're doing tonight. And, you know, I think since we did investigate... Something completely different now, guys. We never interrupt one of our outros. However, what we captured on the camera once the edit was completed, we simply had to share this and point it out to you. Years later, definitely, uh, it's, as Chris said, massive thanks to Liam and the team that are here to sort of accommodate what we're doing tonight. And you know, I think since we uh, like a similar vibe running through it, oh, most definitely, uh, it's as Chris said, massive thanks to Liam and the team that are here to sort of accommodate what we're doing tonight. And you know, I think since we did investigate Liso Lighthouse, which is not just a stone's throw away from here. Definitely, uh, it's, as Chris said, massive thanks to Liam and the team that are here to sort of accommodate what we're doing tonight. And you know, I think since we uh, like a similar vibe running through it. Oh, most definitely. Uh, it's as Chris said, massive thanks to Liam and the team that are here to sort of accommodate what we're doing tonight. And you know, I think since we did investigate Liso Lighthouse, which is not just a stone's throw away from here. I just always have my eye on this building to go, I really, really want to get in here. It was one of the first when we started the channel that I did message to, to sort of get in. And, you know, three and a half years later, it's definitely been worth the wait, yeah. uh, you know, for the rooms that we've had access to tonight. Like Chris said, it has sort of just built up the story, built up this narrative. 
And yeah, I mean, for, for me, definitely in room 22, where we are now, um, as you can see, things are already Key flashing two, away. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm really, really intrigued to, to sort of see what the lock off's captured here and that. That cat ball moving off the table that when I went to turn the, the 360 on is just, yeah, it's, it's made my night to be honest. So I'm, I'm really, really made up that we decided yeah. to come here and, and do a full investigation at Leeson Castle. Exactly, and, and by now, guys, we'll have flashed up a lot of the history of the place as well and any relevance to anything that we've got. Like, I'm intrigued to find out where I felt there was like a religious mm. kind of section of the building. You know, was I right? Was there a chapel adjoined to the building originally? Because a lot of these big, big old mansion houses did have that because the, the family didn't want to travel to go and worship. They wanted it on site. They wanted religion to come to them. So that that aspect has been interesting as well. Yeah, and I think in terms of equipment that we've, that we've sort of had, the K2's been flashing quite a lot in here. Not much capital activity that we've seen other than the one uh, over on that other side. Uh, rent pods have been quite quiet, but audibly, you know, everywhere we've sort of been, there's, there's been audible knocks or yeah. taps, you know, the bang over in the other half of the building, yeah. but that was really loud, wasn't it? And, exactly. You know. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing, guys, you know us, whether you've been on an event or just watched us for long enough, this belief in some factions of the paranormal that that something has got to go flying off a, a mantelpiece or, or a chair's got to move or something. We've had stuff move, we've had things happen, we've had it tonight, but it's the subtle little interactions that also make it so worthwhile for us. And mm. Some people might look at it and go, what, you got so excited over a little knock? It's where the knock comes from yeah. that makes everything more relevant. The reason we're about to show you a replay is watch carefully as the screen flickers momentarily. True paranormal investigating, and that is what we would deem as a paranormal sort of response. Hopefully, what we would deem as a paranormal sort of response. Hopefully, things can be easily explained to us this adds some credibility to what is about uh, to happen to Chris did the spirit cross the room the right in front of the camera for, you know for a meal or just for a Ooh. drink okay <laughs> definitely and I think you know that is sort of true paranormal investigating and that is what we would deem as, as a paranormal sort of response hopefully um, things can be easily explained but equally some things can't but um, as I said what what an absolutely stunning stunning building you know if you're ever considering coming here for you know for a meal or just for a Ooh. drink okay <laughs> oh what was that <laughs> that was like somebody looked over my shoulder really yeah oh my god that was horrible oh I've got I've got shivers like I'm sorry guys, I know we're trying to do an outro, <laughs> literally, oh my god, I've gone cold, I've gone really cold, and I've gone like proper, that's just scared me cold, oh man. Or a drink, or if you're considering getting married here, or if you want to sleep somewhere, why not try yeah. this room, because clearly... Yeah, it oh, seems to be an active one. Honestly, just to explain what, <laughs> and, and obviously, I, 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 it's not going to show up on the camera, it never does. It was like, it was like somebody, as I'm looking at Adam, like I have been all the way through there, and it was like suddenly, this pale face, just, just kind of, just come in behind there. And, and I, I, I went icy cold at the same time. <laughs> So I'm sorry if that was finally you <laughs> showing yourself and I've just jumped like a lemon yeah. and not going to show up on the camera and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, trying to get uh, trying to get in on the outro there, but I mean, 
for, for us, for the small amount of time that we have been here, it, it's been absolutely phenomenal. And fingers oh, yeah. crossed we'll be able to get an event here at some point as well to really sort of sink our teeth into, into Lisa Castle and, you know, hopefully have a few more scares like you've just seen. Yeah, that, that just sums up why when we were sat here earlier on, I was looking at the bed and thinking it's such a shame that we haven't got the whole night. Uh, oh, maybe for work commitments, you know, that we haven't got the whole night where we can set up a lock off. You get your head down. That was a K2 flashing again. You get your head down, but this room, my God, you know, if you're uh, you know, Liam, when you watch this back, mate, you know, stick an extra tenor on this room <laughs> because this is your haunted room, without a doubt, this is your active room. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, great episode, and uh, as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, take care, guys, bye now. Do you know what it was so like? What I really hope that sort of on that, that as you're talking, something just goes like that, or even it's just moves. like moves. Because yeah. because if, if you stand where I was, yeah. and all, all I can say it look like it's like if you look across like you like you're thinking what, like, you're watching that, like, yourself yeah. talk, and it's almost like as you did that, <coughs> it's just crap. That's fucking scary. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it yeah. looked like, like like someone's head. Like they were kind oh, of like just going. Female. I couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. It was just it. Did the, 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 the light changed? Like the, you know, there's no there's no light over there. Yeah. So you moving your arms does not make any difference to what I can see there. Haunted. Oh, shite.